for some people, they may want to get vaccinated, but there are significant barriers. Our Stephen Hernandez takes a look at those working to remove those obstacles. I've always felt embarrassed. Maria Rodriguez knows what it's like to not being able to read. Now she's helping others with their literacy while also encouraging them to learn the right information about the COVID vaccine. I feel what they feel and I feel the scare, the worry, the tension. While many Clevelanders want to get their shot, adult illiteracy means they're swayed in the wrong direction by rumors and fake facts. Rodriguez, who works at Seeds of Literacy on the West Side, has heard of these reasonings firsthand. I'm allergic to this kind of food. Oh, I'm not going to take the COVID because somebody told me if I take the COVID with my health issue, I'm going to die. Illiteracy is also a significant hurdle to overcome for minorities. 66% of Clevelanders are functionally illiterate, and some neighborhoods have an illiteracy rate of 95%, predominantly in areas with minority communities. Marianne Nicolay, a volunteer at the site, says public health organizations have relied too heavily on a one-size-fits-all approach. Some people are willing to listen and learn. Other people are just throwing up their hands and walking away because they don't know what to listen and listen to anymore. Rodriguez has since been able to get her own dose of the vaccine and she's hoping to use her experience to show other people the importance of getting vaccinated. Some people, they want to learn, they want to know, but they're afraid to ask. One person can make a difference. And if it has to be you, the first person, then you need to do it. In Cleveland, Stephen Hernandez, 19 News.